Hello everyone, my name is Anna, I'm a dietitian from Ask a Dietitian and I am answering nutrition questions. But first, today I want to say thank you to one of my beautiful friends who I ran into the park, at the park yesterday um, and she said, uh, Anna, you're a genius and I was like, thank you, um, why am I a genius? And she said because of one of my videos, I gave her um, some very useful tips about feeding children and allowing them to feed themselves. And so um, that uh, that has helped with some, some of the food things going on at their house. So thank you. You know who you are. Um, you've given me the confidence to do this today because uh, it's a bit out of sight of my comfort zone making, making these videos, to be perfectly honest. But anyway, I keep doing them because I think that they uh, seem to be helpful. So today's topic is uh, how to talk to kids about Food. So it's very similar to the last topic, with which was about raising body confident children, um, and so they kind of go hand in hand, really. Uh, so one of the main, the, the main, the main component with raising children, um, how to talk to them about food, is not guilting them. <laughs> and so okay, I don't know, guilt is a really, really common emotion that I feel. I don't know whether other people feel it quite to the extent that I do, and I guess it's hard to know because guilt and shame are things that we just don't talk about enough culturally like we, we gotta get children to name their emotions now a bit more than we did maybe 20 years ago but um often shame is not one of them and often guilt is not one of them um so that's a that's so often guilt ca happens um from things like you know as parents we're going to feel guilty about um finishing breastfeeding or um working or not working or putting children in daycare or putting children in school for some parents um versus homeschooling and so uh, you know, obviously I've thought about this a lot. This is something I'm working through with my psychologist at the moment. Yay, talking therapy. Um, and so, uh, anyway, there are many different ways of not guilting children um, when it comes to food. So the first one is not using good and the words good and bad when talking about food or anything kind of black and white like that. Uh, because food is not, food does not have a moral. Food is not good or bad. But when you use those words, then the child will harm um, Children don't have really the um, in mental recognition to understand that when they eat a bad food, they are not a bad person, which is really what kind of happens when you say, don't eat the bad food. And so um, along the same lines is healthy versus unhealthy. Some people, some dietitians say don't use those words either. I find this really tricky myself because um, it's hard to kind of, without saying, when my daughter says why, because she's in still going with the why, um, I can either kind of, I feel like I can either kind of authoritarian her and say, because I said so, or I can um, say uh, things like, because it's not lunchtime right now, or something like that, or because that's not what happened, what happened for lunch when she says, why can't I eat this? Um, but sometimes I do find myself saying, because um, I'd rather you eat this healthy food or healthier food. And so that is along the same lines. Be careful with saying healthy. I'll leave that up to you, um, whether or not you want to use those words as well. So the second thing is with um, not guilting our children is coercion, avoiding coercion. And so uh, things like just one more bite, that's coercion. But also is like, yay, you ate it, well done. Unless you have a child who has um, some very, very, very picky eating, we try to avoid those kinds of things. If you have a very, very picky eater, then go and talk to a professional about it. Don't talk to a YouTube video. Um, well, I hope you're not talking to me because I can't hear <laughs> um, So uh, as well, also limit reward foods. I use limit carefully because um, – food as i've discussed before food is not just energy and energy out if it was that then we wouldn't like you know i wouldn't have a job it's really um much much more than that the food is is used as a celebration sometimes um but also it's it's sometimes overused as a celebration so just so be very mindful of how you use reward food so one way that i generally um try to get people to stop doing is uh using dessert as a reward for eating your main meal that's because then you create basically a like this food is better than this food um, when really we want all foods to be considered the same and just have different values. So um, eat dessert with dinner. That's one way of doing it. Um, and this is all very mind-blowing for people who haven't done this before. Like, I'm sorry, but I can't give my child dessert with their dinner. They will only eat dessert. Sometimes they do. And sometimes when the child has been quite restricted, they will eat a load of dessert. Um, or sometimes they just love sugar and that's fine too. They'll eat a load of dessert. Um, 
But other times, a lot of children will just eat their dessert and then their dinner. So ways to manage that is you can get them to have put their food on their plate and then finish their plate before they get more food. So that will include possibly dessert and possibly some main. Um, it depends on how you do it. Um, so that's a discussion for another day. But if you want more info about that, then uh, look up Ellen Satter's Division of Responsibility. It's like a one-page PDF on Google. If you have children, then you must Google it. Please, 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 please Google it because it basically sets out your job versus um, the child, your child's job. Uh, and it's really clear and obvious um, and really great. Uh, so that is, that is that. If you have any questions, please send them to me at Ask a Dietitian um, Facebook or askanapd.com, which is my website. Uh, ask, uh, APD stands for Accredited Practicing Dietitian, which is what I am. You can also book in to see me, um, particularly, you know, with children. I love this kind of stuff. Uh, this area is um, really important to me, actually, raising children to have uh, a good relationship with food. And also often we can heal our own relationship with food a little bit when we do that with our children. So thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day.